The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom shall I dread? When those who do evil draw near, they stumble and fall. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we, who call on you in our need, may at your prompting discern what is right, and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, to the church of God that is in Corinth, with all the holy ones throughout Achaia, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion, and the God of all encouragement, who encourages us in our every affliction, so that we may be able to encourage those who are in any affliction with the encouragement with which we ourselves are encouraged by God. For as Christ's sufferings overflow to us, so through Christ does our encouragement also overflow. If we are afflicted, it is for your encouragement and salvation. If we are encouraged, it is for your encouragement, which enables you to endure the same sufferings that we suffer. Our hope for you is firm, for we know that as you share in the sufferings, you also share in the encouragement. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial song. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to the Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, 
for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Thus they persecuted the prophets before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. For those of watching, uh, we will have Mass videoed tomorrow, Tuesday, the 8th of June, and then Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday I will be out of town, so we will not have the Mass videoed. Instead, here at the parish, our deacon will be covering everything with communion services. Family emergency, I'm so sorry, wasn't planned, but I still have to be away. Uh, okay. The Beatitudes it's from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 1 through 12. The Beatitudes, there's been so much about them. Uh, already said, so allow me to add just a little, uh, a little to that great pot and my two cents Jesus speaks in an eschatological way that the kingdom future the kingdom of heaven future that is when those who mourn those who are peacemakers those who are suffering all of these people who display these virtues uh, they will receive their reward when heaven uh, comes. And that is true. But might I also say, can we not receive a reward now for enduring any of these things? And that's what Paul speaks about, that God is the God of compassion and encouragement. We need not wait till heaven to receive a reward. The reward that we can receive today, this moment, is the fact that I'm here. I'm here. I'm able to celebrate with family, with friends. I'm able to experience the Eucharist, to receive God into my heart and soul. I'm able to Tonight, go to bed with a clean conscience that I tried my best. It's a reward. It's more valuable than money and gold and personal property, possessions, or awards. Just be able to know that I, I, did, I did my best. That's the most important thing. And that in, in itself is a great reward. And so when the eschatological reward comes at the end of time, well, it'll just be icing on top of the cake. So may Almighty God be with you. May He bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our names. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way, and those who care for them. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who will watch this Mass on video, and for the needs of you here present in our chapel today. For all these needs from this one united Catholic family, we pray to the Lord. Lord we pray our prayer. And we pray that the infinite prog will continue to watch over the finances of our parishes. And that we always have enough of what we need. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 
as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, and the praise of the Lord will be for our good and the of all the church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you, and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord, Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. Us. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with the exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son and the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son and the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And at the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. To await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of our Lord, and glory is now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Lean not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And your spirit. spirit. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My, my God is my saving strength. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil, and lead us to what is right, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Lord, Michael, the Archangel. Defend us from thou, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him when he humbly pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits, 
who wandered through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praise and protection against storms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed, Blessed be God. Blessed, Blessed be the Lord. Blessed be Jesus Christ, who died on the Amen. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit that can consoler. Blessed be the great Mother of God and Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste father. Blessed be all the angels and his saints. 